If the camera is shaky or wobbly, it's totally Toby's fault because I have him as my cameraman today. Hi, Toby and Theron helped me finish planting the garden, except I still have more green beans I need to plant and I will re sow some spring lettuces and um, I have some cabbage and onion start setting and I will replant radishes. Lettuces and radishes are something that you need to um, re-sow every two to four weeks so that you continuously have a harvest. And in the summer, move it to a little bit of a shadier area out of the summer heat. And in the fall, I'm going to be moving it down more towards where it's going to get more sunshine during the day. Um, I have flowers. That, uh, I like the cream and um, pale colors blend in and I have uh, zinnias and marigolds that I will intersperse. They're companion plants in a garden. We have a cherry tomato. We transplanted a strawberry patch where this is a little bit shady compared to a new area with some larger plants to see how it does more in full sun. I just wanted to see what the balance was. Uh, cabbage starts. We have a mix of different cut and eat loose leaf lettuces. I had some seed in the freezer for three years and I thought I would give it a chance. It was in the freezer and it germinated just as well as brand new seed that I bought um, uh, about a month ago whenever I put everything in. I have it mixed in with some spinach. I find that if I do everything about a foot apart, it forces it to be clumped up a little bit more and it keeps my spinach a little bit smaller so I can eat it in salads because I don't care for cooked spinach. I have a couple flowers interspersed and as this dies out, I'll at least have some flowers and then I will be replanting again with some uh, later fall beans. So that's a whole lot of lettuces for just us. Only my husband and I eat it, but I share it with um, a couple volunteers that um, uh, they'll help me eat it. And also all the clippings and all the weeds that come out um, instantly go to the rabbits first and then leftovers go to our goats. I planted a perennial and artichoke just for pure fun. I'm not much of an artichoke eater, but I wanna see how it will do here um, pretty much out in the open elements all year long. I'll mulch it down with some of the straw and just see if it takes off. These are some uh, like romaine and bib lettuces that you don't eat right away. They don't, they kind of annoy me a little bit with bug problems at times, but I got a few going and I have celery here. Um, in between the strawberries, I have uh, peppers growing and I have um, two dozen cabbage plants growing along here. This will be beans. These areas have a variety of cucumber plants. I find this back corner does pretty well with cucumber plants and it's um, easier to water because um, we're closer to the water source. Then along here I have a dozen tomato plants the hog panels have the weight that hold up to tomatoes pretty well just to grow them as a hedge and along the front edge of that I have our um, onions are growing then I have um, peas I didn't do a lot of spring peas um, because of that. I will eat them a couple times I mainly uh, dry them to put in seven layer salads. That's about the extent of what I do with peas because quite frankly, it's just cheap to buy a can of peas at the store. So that's what I do with my peas, but I will again be planting in the fall for fall peas. And when I harvest those, the pea vines, the goats can't get enough pea vines. So definitely pea vines, green bean vines. Instantly, I roll those over into a uh, fresh food for our goats. The next area over are potatoes. We did not buy any seed potatoes this year. 
um, any potato that was about golf ball size or so, I just kept in um, a bushel basket, didn't bother it all winter, and we have complete germination of them. It's been great for the potatoes. We have Kennebec and red potatoes, and I just mix them. So when we dig potatoes, we will have some red and some Kennebec, which will be awesome. And then where the fence posts are is more beans. I planted three seed packs, different varieties, from three different online companies that I've trusted and done well with. The one on the far left has the best germination, so I'm gonna have to reseed some of that, but that will be beans. And then just beyond that is where I have another dozen and a half tomato plant a spaghetti squash, a zucchini, and a, uh, a couple watermelon plants. And those will just free over there, just free run. Um, and then where we have the compost that's coming out of the barn this year, which we'll lay, and then we'll just kind of work back into that, that area. The row, length of the rows are 50 feet, and the area is about 40 feet wide. We're using scrap boards to um, box areas in to help just maintain it a little bit easier. Um, and that has been working this past year uh, when I had tried it last year. So we're going to intensively do it in more of the areas this year. And I'm not building raised beds, but I'm boxing this in so we can get the mower up and it keeps a boundary. And if you'll look right here, I just loosely lay pieces of chicken wire across the top to deter the bugs. What's been the biggest help is we keep the chickens in a coop. They will have it ruined in a few minutes. I love to let my birds free range, but whenever we have a garden we're eating from, they have to stay cooped up. The ducks are fine. The guineas are fine. We have to monitor the turkeys um, because uh, they got in when I planted my potatoes and they had potatoes flipped up because they were getting grubs. So I, I have to keep an eye on them. I have had no signs of the guineas giving me any fits and they are in, meant to help keep any ticks down in our hay areas. So definitely keep that up. If the camera is shaky or wobbly, it's totally Toby's fault because I have him as my cameraman today. But the boys didn't like it. We came out at um, shortly after nine. It is now 11.30. We have everything cleaned up, put away. I've done the video and we'll see how things go. See you in a couple weeks for check-in.